I want to speak to Squaley the expat. Now, I'm curious, why do you call yourself an expat rather than an immigrant? Hi, David. Uh, thanks for having me. Can you hear me OK? I can hear you fine. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, well, you know, it's um, in, in from what I've experienced as an expat, yeah. it's the general term that um, people tend to call themselves. But I've heard, I've heard actually that it's it's referred to as more of an uh, you know uh, upper class term or not not so advantageous term. Well, let me ask um, you, where are you from originally? Is it from Germany? I'm from upstate New York, actually. You're originally. from New York, but then you moved to Germany. Correct. Okay. And are you are you a white guy? I am a white guy. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, from what I've read, um, upper middle class and higher white Americans tend to refer to themselves as expats when they move to other countries rather than immigrants. I've heard that, too. I've heard that, too. So I've been I've been you know, I've been curious about which term I should use. Maybe maybe you have a a perspective, um, but I've been using them interchangeably. Actually, very interesting. Um, Very interesting. Well, I don't want to take up all of your time without letting you ask a question. Yeah, no, no. I actually had a couple questions for you, David. So first off, thanks for doing the town hall. I think it's fantastic. Um, I actually uh, have a a finance background as well. Um, So I've been following you for a few years now. Um, and uh, love what you do. Thank you. Um, so um, first question is just more general. And if it's OK, I have a second one. Um, but so the first one is I've sort of been following um, from an international perspective. One might say like sort of the climate shift, uh, the authoritarianism uh, that's been developing in many countries and sort of the energy crisis. So those three on top of each other, climate uh dictatorships and energy. Um, so, 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 so based off that, I'm thinking, David, where do I want to move next? And I sort of want to come back home to the States, but it's <laughs> from this perspective, it's hard to tell sort of where to go. So I was, I was wondering if you had some, some insight as to, um, maybe in the next three, six months or even further, like, where do you think, would be a logical place to head back to the States. You're um, saying geographically or industry wise? Well, so so geographically, yes, but also um, considering the, you know, the energy and the water issues that are going on in the West, uh, as well as um, the, like I said, the, you know, the, the far right movement sort of down in Florida. Right. Um, as well as the climate shifts. It's, so it's it's kind of OK. It seems so let's like see. I, a, I think I get it. So first of all, yeah. do you want to live in a big city or not? Uh, yeah. So, I mean, New York's always been attractive. I like New York and Boston as well. Um, again, so you do want to uh, move to a city is what you're saying? I, I do. I do. I okay. like Berlin and, uh, and I enjoy cities. I and do. then how about in inter- how important is is climate to you and weather? Do you want to live in a warm place, a cold place, a place with seasons? I do like seasons, David. I enjoy okay. a, a warm cappuccino uh, during the winter. And, OK, you uh, want seasons. Uh, are you are you partial to the East Coast rather than the West Coast? It sounded like you, you were saying you are. I think I am. I think okay. I am. And then how about do you want to be on the water or you don't care about that? I do like water, um, although following the recent climate news, it seems uh, that too close to the water might not be a good long term uh, investment. Um, so I'm thinking maybe a bit, fr- a bit a bit further from the water, but still I do like water. OK. And then how about as far as in terms of airports, do you want to be right by an airport where you have lots of nonstop flights back to Europe or are you OK connecting? Um, good question. Um, I would prefer something direct. Mm. Um, yeah. So listen, I think it's potentially Charlotte, North Carolina for you, I have to say um, it's still north enough that they have seasons. It's a few hours from the water. It's an American Airlines hub. There's a bunch of different industry uh, and it's a city. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you need to consider Charlotte, North Carolina. No, David, I have been to Charlotte and I I really do. I I like the seafood down that way. Uh, Weather's not too bad. Um, Perfect. So thank you so much for the recommendation. Um, All right. Let's keep it to the one question just because I have so many people holding, but I appreciate your support. David. All right. There we go.